team preview, but you can see the Pokemon there uh, around the frame. Uh, so, we have a battle right now between Blaziken, Burn, and Daniel S. all the way from the East Coast versus a local player, Peachy Memo, Guillermo B. Both players are currently 5 and 1. Uh, team preview showed Daniel running Salamence, Conkeldur, Tyranitar, Thunders Incarnate, Clefairy, and Heat ran a little bit of an East Coast special right there. Guillermo going to be running Cresselia, Tyranitar, Diggersby. Diggersby. <laughs> Chandelure, uh, Whimsicott, Metagross. It was okay. Rotom Wash, not Cresselia. Oh, it, it was. Rotom oh, Wash Rotom instead of Cresselia. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Missing some of the form sprites. Right, they're four and one. Sorry, they're both four and one. I need someone to change that. Anyways, just just take note that both players are currently four and one. And there is no Cresselia for Guillermo. <laughs> and no Cresselia <laughs> for Guillermo. Instead, it's a Wash Rotom. Uh, let me just take that out right there. Nope. nope. One. So we see uh, Clefairy go for the Helping Hand onto the Conkeldur, but uh, ooh. Huge Meteor Mash. Big no Iron Head. From Guillermo to knock out the Clefairy in one hit. Since Metagross gained its speed, we pretty much exclusively see Iron Head for the flinch chance. Uh, there's the rare Meteor Mash. We also didn't see a Mega, so the. Or did we? We did. Mega Megagross? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <coughs> so, so kind of rare to see that Meteor Mash, but it does a lot more damage. There's a chance that Clefairy would have survived Iron Head, though, unlikely. Yeah, and I mean, good position right there for Guillermo. I mean, he's taken a really fast lead. Yeah, and he's now he's threatening Zen Headbutt plus. Uh, Plus Hydro Pump, like he's in a great spot already. We do see the Heat Ran come in though, and Heat Ran is kind of a Metagross. It's an anti Metagross Pokemon. I mean, it can knock it out. But we've seen a lot of Metagrosses easily. survive Flamethrowers, definitely survive Heat Waves. Uh, not quite enough to get the one hit KO without Overheat. Um, and if he allows two KOs, which he doesn't, he switches out to Titar, we're going to take his in headbutt if it comes in. And we do see the Titar come in, going to bring the Sandstorm. Uh, Slowly going to chip away at that wash room right there sitting in there. Metagross goes for that Zen head, but a good call right there from Daniel to switch in that Tarantar, like you called it, as Heat Ran gets to go for a Heat Wave and does not pick up the knockout on Metagross, unfortunately. Uh, oh, does get the burn. That will knock out this turn. Get it the knockout after all. Maybe this will be a Hydro Pump. Uh, Rotom does go for the Hydro Pump, going to target down that Heat Ran most likely. Not going to be able to pick up the knockout, I think. Heat Ran is a very bulky Pokemon, and Heat Ran does hang on. Uh, and we see that chip damage on that wash room. So uh, Daniel kind of changing momentum right now. He does take the knockout on uh, Changing momentum in a lot because of how good that burn damage was. Yeah. Uh, Metagross still sitting around with its new faster speed uh, would have would have still been potent. Right, and uh, right now so far the trades have been a Clefairy for a Mega Metagross. So that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a trade I'd take any day. As but we do see Diggersby, Diggersby comes in in a great spot. Uh, ready to Earthquake, do a lot of damage. Uh, has that Sand Rush. No, it has huge power. Huge power? <laughs> uh, Diggersby does not get that. This goes straight for the Earthquake. I believe it's going to be Scarf. Going to be able to outspeed Heat Ran and Tarantar. Or maybe it's just faster than all the Pokemon on the field. Tarantar hangs on. Heat Ran is going to be knocked out. And Tyranitar right now. Uh, oh, Washroom goes for the Hydro Pump, but Tyranitar dodges it. And Tyranitar goes for the Rock Slide. That is going to most likely not be able to pick up the knockout on Wash Rotom, but it's gonna be it does pick up the knockout on Wash Rotom. Uh, even then, I think it would, it would put it in range for Sand. Sand, anyways. Yeah. So we see that the Diggersby but is now that we know that Diggersby is scarf, but uh, does, the question is, does Irmo have any more Earthquake immunes, or is he going to start Earthquaking himself? That's 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 absolutely right. Uh, we see Guillermo's last Pokemon is going to be uh, Tyranitar, so Conkeldur does not mind facing off against either of these two, but he has to pick his poison right now. Which one is going to be the more important one to knock out? Yeah, I almost feel like just protecting uh, your Conkeldur for a turn. Uh, waiting for the Earthquake to maybe knock out your own T-Tar, but hopefully knock out Guillermo's also, and then going after a Mach Punch to end the game. Or just Mach Punch straight off. Conkeldur does go for the Mach Punch straight up into the Diggersby. Diggersby hangs on, and Diggersby goes straight for the Earthquake right there. Uh, gonna do enough to knock out the Tyranitar on Daniel's side, do a lot of damage to the Tyranitar on uh, Guillermo's side as well. Uh, unfortunately, Tyranitar there cannot make a move as Tyranitar goes for an Ice Beam onto the Conkeldur. Uh, Conkeldur should be able to hang on fairly well. Does hang on, and now it comes down to. Uh, I want to point out the no sand damage too. Uh, that could play a big role. Uh, safety goggles, right? Safety right, goggles, safety goggles. Otherwise, you know, you you expect that Conkeldur, Conkeldur, and Tyranitar will protect this turn to scout out or just walk punch. Never mind. I yeah, I would have preferred to see it protect right there. Oh yeah, I would prefer to see it protect there. Try to knock. Try to make it knock out its own Tyranitar. Because that puts you at a Ooh, trying to goes advantage. for an ancient power right there. Going to do a little bit of damage. Uh, but the next mock punch will knock out. The There's no way that KOs. Right, right, absolutely. Even uh, with a critical hit. hit. 
gonna do some extra damage right there on top so as it looks like uh, he's just one mock punch away from winning right so the reason you would have gone for two earthquakes there was to try to skip the earthquake to knock out its own tyrant which would have happened uh, and the reason this safe girls is so important is that's a couple turns of sand damage away from being knocked out if tyrant had protect um it could have been the game changer especially if it had been ice beam instead of ancient power right. uh, it would have done more i mean we Conkeldor was out there for what, three, two or three turns? Is anything out there for more than that? 